Hey, hey, hey! Hello, my students! Welcome, hello. welcome! <gasps> hello, Thank hello! You. Surprise, surprise! How are you? How are you, students? How are you doing? I'm fine. And you, teacher? Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm happy to see you. I'm ready for the class. Are you ready for the class? I hope you are. I hope you are. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Class number three. Yes. Cameras activated. Cameras activated. All right. All right. All right. Let's go over the attendance first. Let's go over the attendance first, okay? And then we start with the class. Feedback. What do you remember? What do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Yesterday's class. I remember the class about the present simple. Yes. Present simple. Affirmative and, the and negative. The negative statements. Okay. Let's say, let's say affirmative statements. Affirmative statements. Think of affirmative statements. Remember the formula? Subject, verb, verb. complement. Com example, example, I take the bus to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do my homework. I go to the supermarket. I have, I have a car, for example. Can you say one example, affirmative example? Can you say one affirmative example? Volunteers. I drive my car. I drive. I drive my car. Thank you, Fernando. Good job. Next, give me one affirmative example. I walk to university. I walk to the university. That's right. That's right. Okay, those are affirmative examples. We also have negative examples. Remember, we can use don't, the auxiliary, don't, or doesn't, if it's the person, yes? I don't yes. drive a car. I don't drive a car. Si queremos pasar el ejemplo de Nelson a tercera persona, ¿cómo quedaría? She doesn't drive a car. He, he, ¿verdad? He. he. He doesn't drive a car. Repeat, guys. He doesn't drive a car. He doesn't drive a car. Yes. Y cuando es tercera persona, agregamos esa S, ¿verdad? Al verbo, ¿verdad? Si es en afirmativo. For example, he drives a car. Caso contrario, ¿verdad? En la afirmativa. All right, all right. Ahora sí, vamos al attendance. Let me check. Let's do this very fast, very quick. Wednesday. Okay. So let's just start with Anna. No, it's Abigail, Noemi, Martinez Martinez. Present. Thank you so much. Next, Avner Itiel Cano Silvestre. Ana Gabriela Correas Martinez. Azucena Veralisa Bela Muñoz. Brian Edwin Flores Contreras. 
I am here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Here I am, teacher. I appreciate it. And Edgardo Antonio Fajardo Polanco. I am here, teacher. Got it. Okay. Elena Gabriela Jovel Valle. Eric Mauricio Martinez Carrera. Present teacher. Gladys Elizabeth Justiniano Duran. Present teacher. Thank you. Helen Idalia Ramos Escalante. Iris Elena Ventura Martinez. Here teacher. Thank you. Jessica Marielos Montes Gomez. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Welcome, Jessica. And Joanna Abigail Flores Diaz. Chair. Yes. Fíjese que ella me dice que tiene problemas para conectarse. Yo le mandé el URL a ella porque yo la conozco y dice que tiene problemas de conectarse. Este. ¿Me puedes ayudar y le puedes escribir a Flor? Eh, o le puedes decir a ella que le escriba a Flor, ella es nuestra técnica a cargo. Ella está en nuestro grupo de WhatsApp. Búscamela, porfa, comparte el contacto con ella, ayudémosle, porfa, como equipo y ojalá que podamos resolver, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Gracias a ti. José Fernando Hernández García. Present. Thank you. Juan Rafael Esquina Aguilar. Katie Abigail Montano Rivas. Present. Oh, thank you. Katie? Kimberly Janet Fuentes de Rivera. Present. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Here I am. Oscar Alberto Aguilar Romero. Thank me. Rebecca Eunice Hernandez Rodas. Present. Rosemary, Rosemary Beatriz Ramirez Someta. Veronica Lisette Marroquín de Santos. FM teacher. Welcome, Veronica. Welcome back. Vilma Heidi Cortez Beltrán. Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your punctuality, guys. Thank you for honoring your opportunity with INSAFOR. Let's start with with our class, let me share my screen. Yesterday we saw some verbs, like for example, have, remember have, have, conjugation of have, I have, repeat, I have. I have. You have. I have. I have. I have. I have. You have. You, you have, have. You have. He has. He has. She has. She has. It has. It has. We have. We have. We have. They, they have. They have. Okay. I do. Repeat. I do. I do. I do. You do. I do. You do. You do. You do. He does. He does. She does. She does. It does. It does. We do. We do. They do. They do. Go. Repeat. I go. I go. You go. You go. He goes. He goes. She goes. She goes. It goes. It goes. We go. We go. And they go. And they go. Okay, let's finish this video. Let's go ahead and watch. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. 
I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple statements, and whenever we use the principles like I, you, we, and they, verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, I have or it. These verbs have, do, we do. And go will change. And they change as follows have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My, my mother does a lot of work. Has a car. My Same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now, it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself. Okay, we're going to practice these verbs, okay? We're going to practice these verbs. Teacher Kalev is going to say an example using I, you, we, or they, and students, participants, will transfer the example using third person, he, she, or it. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's have one example, okay? One example. I have a computer. He has a computer. Repeat, guys. He has a computer. 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 That's the dynamic, okay? Number two. Next, 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 next. Uh, my sis. Wait, wait, wait. Um, we do our homework. Uh huh. Transfer to third person. You can use he, she, or it. Yes. For example, he does. Repeat, he does. His homework. homework. Repeat. She does her homework. Okay, okay, okay. Next, 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 next. I go to work. I go to work. I go to work. Mm -hmm. She goes. Uh huh. To work. Correct. He goes to work. Repeat. He goes to work. He goes to work. Okay, okay, okay. Continue. I do exercise. Repeat. I do exercise. I do, I do exercise. The person. He does exercise. He does exercise. Repeat. He does exercise. Do does. 
He does exercise. Okay. I have a problem. I have a problem. The person. He has, he has a, a problem. problem. That's correct. He has he a has. problem. Okay. He has. I do yoga. I do, I do yoga. yoga. I do yoga. The person. He does yoga. He does yoga. Yes. I go to the zoo. I go to the zoo. The person. I go to the zoo. The person. He, he does. He goes. He goes to the zoo. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's switch. Let's switch. Let's switch. Now, teacher Kalev is going to say the third person and you say the other form using I, using you, using we, or using they. Ready? Here we go. My father has a bicycle. Pueden usar I, you, we, or they. My father has a bicycle. You know a bicycle? I have a bicycle. Correct. I have a bicycle. You have a bicycle. We have a bicycle. Or they, another group, they have a bicycle. Next example. Come on, guys. Participation. Next example. My mother does the cleaning. My mother does the cleaning. I do the cleaning. I do the cleaning. I do the cleaning. Do the cleaning. Ooh, swiping, mopping, you know, cleaning everywhere. <laughs> I do the cleaning. And relatives. Okay, let's watch. And apply the rules that we just learned. Let's finish this one and we go to the next one. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? No questions? Okay, 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 okay. Vamos a ver. Quiero que me den un ejemplo usando los verbos que acabamos de ver. Usando have, usando go, o usando do. Ok, vamos a escoger a un compañero luego que nos diga la tercera persona. Ok, vamos a comenzar con quién. Vamos a ver. Tararán, tararán, tararán. Nelson, Melgar. Go ahead, Nelson. One example, Nelson. Puede usar have, go, or do. Uh, I have a car. I have a car. A ver, clase, ¿cómo sería en tercera persona? Third person. He has a car. He has, he a, has car. a car. Okay, excellent. He has a car. Vamos a hacer negativos, negativos, okay? I don't. Vamos a usar I don't. Vamos a usar una negativa. Kimberly Fuentes. One negative, I don't have, I don't go, or I don't do. I don't a car. I don't have, I, I don't, don't have, have a, a car. Repeat. I don't have a car. Correct. I don't have a car. Class, what is the third person? She doesn't have a car. He does. She doesn't. Has. She doesn't have or she doesn't has. 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 Remember that when we use auxiliary. Correct. He. She doesn't have. Thank you, Edgardo. She doesn't have because we need the base form of the verb. 
because we're using the auxiliary doesn't, okay? She doesn't have a car. Vamos a ver, Edgardo, danos un ejemplo using have, using go, or using do. Negative. Okay, I do go, no, sorry. <laughs> I don't go to church. I don't go to church. Repeat. I don't go to church. Two. Two. T O. I don't go to. Cuando usamos to el go. go, casi siempre usamos la preposición to, chicos. T O. T O. Go to, go to. Ir a, ¿verdad? En español. So you don't go to church? Yes. You don't go to church. Okay, third person class, third person. He doesn't go to the church. Correct. Y podemos usar el nombre también en este caso, ¿verdad? Edgardo doesn't go to church. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Verónica, give us one example, one negative example, Verónica. Todos preparando su ejemplo. Iris, Ventura, denos tu ejemplo. Iris, are you there? I'm here. Negative example, it is. Negative example, using I don't go, I don't have, I don't do. Um, I don't have a tablet. Repeat, I don't have. I don't have a tablet. Correct. I don't have a tablet. What is the third person class? She has. She doesn't have a tablet. Correct. She doesn't have a tablet. Repeat. She doesn't have a tablet. She doesn't have a tablet. She doesn't, she doesn't have a tablet. Very nice. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's continue, guys. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your participation. Let me share now my screen. Ah, bueno, tengo que darles también, aprovecharles para darles, porque esto de las... Um, De la plataforma, guys, it's really, 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 really important. So, bueno, tenemos que tener esta semana, eh, bueno, tenemos que haber completado la sección 1 y 2 en su plataforma. Recuerden que si ustedes tienen algún tipo de problema técnico, alguna respuesta que no les agarra, Tienen que contactarse con la técnico que se está a nuestro cargo. Ella es Flor Sánchez. Ok. Entonces recuerden que. Nos recuerdan que tenemos que terminar la sección 1 y 2. ¿Verdad? Y, y que tiene que ser uh, como mínimo tienen que sacar un 80. ¿verdad? Esa es la nota mínima. Esa es la nota mínima. Y pues su asistencia tiene que ser como mínimo eso. ¿Verdad? También. So, no sé si tienen alguna duda hasta ahí. Bueno, entonces, quería saber Ajá, dígame. si puedo um, hacer las tareas mañana y viernes porque no me queda chance en el, para hacer las tareas. Y ese que creo que es hasta mañana. Tienen que hacer lo posible de terminarlas mañana. Vale, está bien. Yes, 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 yes. Para ir bien, 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 acorde con todo. Ok, estamos visualizando. You can see my screen. Yes? No. Me hago borroso. Todo bien borroso. Sí. Okay, sí. Try it. Está borroso. And let me try again. Sí, sí, super borroso, sí, mira. Let's try again.
Okay, can you see my screen? It says by the end of this class, you will be able to form simple questions. Simple present questions and conversation. I get up at noon. Okay, let's check. Let me make it a little bigger for you. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Cat. Do Sorry. and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does, plus subject, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word. Bueno, vamos a ir un poquito más despacio en esta parte, okay? First, First, let's go over the conversation, okay? Please listen and repeat after me. You ready? Ready. ready. Please listen and repeat. I am ready. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. 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 Repeat. Let's go to the park mm. on Sunday. Let's, Let's go, go to the park, the park, the park on, on Sunday. 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 Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Okay, let's, let's go in the afternoon. Es que casi no se ve. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Repeat, I sleep late on weekends. I sleep on I sleep late on weekend. Thank you. Repeat, what time do you get up on Sundays? What time, time did you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. At, At 10 o'clock. That's early. Oh, that's early. Oh, that's early. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. On Sunday, I get up. I get up. Sunday, I get up. At noon. Afternoon. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you, Do you eat bring breakfast yeah. then? Sure. Sure. Repeat. 
I have breakfast every day. I have breakfast every day. Every day. Every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant. Then let's meet at this restaurant. At one o'clock. At one o'clock. At one o'clock. They serve. They serve. They serve breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day. Bueno, tenemos algunos verbos ahí que hay que considerar. Por ejemplo, serve, que es servir, ¿verdad? Servir, serve. Ok, S-E-R-V-E, -E, serve. Meet, el verbo meet. ¿Quién se sabe el verbo meet? Reunirse. Puede ser conocer, puede ser reunirse. En este caso, reunirse. Let's meet at this restaurant. Ahí nos vamos a reunir, so... Reunirse. What else? Let me see. That's it. You have any question on this conversation? You have any question about this conversation? No? Okay, I have some questions for you. How do you say fines de semana? Hello? Please, please. How do you say in English fines de semana? Weekend. Weekends. Weekends. Very good. Very Weekends. good. Weekends. Yes. How do you say how do you say domingo? Um Sunday. 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 Very good. How do you say desayuno? Breakfast. Um, breakfast. Breakfast. Very well. Very well. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Ok, vamos a practicar entonces. So, Teacher Caleb is going to be Jack. And all the participants are going to be Amy. Yes? Are you ready to practice? Hello? Hello? Are you ready? Teacher, I can... I don't get see clean the... You can't see clearly. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. No pueden ver muy bien la pantalla. No. At 10. Okay. Yes or no? No. No, okay. No. Bueno, entonces vamos a analizar simple present questions. Tenemos dos tipos de preguntas. Tenemos las yes no questions. Y tenemos las WH questions. Ok. Pero antes que nada. We have to know. Tenemos que manejar el dato de los auxiliares. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares? How do go. Vaya. Los auxiliares en el present simple guys. It's do and does. A ver todos. Do. Do. Das. 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 ¿Cuál es el negativo de do? What's the negative of do? Don't. 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 What's the negative Isn't of das? Doesn't. Doesn't. Vaya, si estamos claros ahí, estamos bien. Luego tenemos que saber con qué subjects usamos cada auxiliary. Por ejemplo, do. ¿Con quién usamos do? Con I, you, we, they. ¿Con quiénes usamos das? With he, she, it. Ok, vaya. Los que tengan audio uh, interferencia, por favor, pongámosle mute a su micrófono. Si nos pueden ayudar con eso. Los que sí pueden usar su micrófono para participar, pues bienvenidos son. Eh, bien, voy a decir, Teacher Caleb is going to say a subject y ustedes me dicen qué auxiliary se usa, si el do o el does. ¿Listos? Ustedes solo van a decir do or does. ¿Ready? Ready. I. Do. Do. Do, okay. We. Do. Do, okay, okay. 
Okay, guys, oh, interference ahí. Again, please help us, help us. Solo los que tienen um, privacidad, right, pueden usar el micrófono. Si usted está por el televisor, le sugiero que mejor no use el micrófono, ¿ok? <ríe> Para que nos pueda ayudar con eso. Ok, so, the subject is... The subject is she. Das. 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 Ok, das. das. Ese es el auxiliar. Das es el negativo. Está bien. Ok. José. Das. 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 That's correct. That's... You and I. Do, 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 okay. Do. Carlos. Das, das, or das, 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 okay. My little, my little cat. Das, das, that's correct. Okay, nice job, nice job, nice job. In that case, let's continue. Now, yes, no questions. Do I, do you, do we, do they? For example, do you get up early? Repeat, do you get up early? Do you get up early? Get up is the verb. Get up. Get up. What, what's the meaning? What's the meaning of get up? Levantarse. 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 That's right. So, do you get up early? No. I get up late. So, do you get up? Do you get up? No. I get up late. Third person, does he have lunch at noon? Or plural question, do they drive to work? Okay, so this is a yes, no question. Can we make a yes, no question using do you? For example, do you get up early? Do you have a car? Do you go to the beach? Yes. Do you drive to work? Can you make a question? Using do you. Can you make a question? Sir, I have a question. Uh huh, go ahead. Res, eh, for dance work, eh, sería, ye, por ejemplo, si es afirmativo, yes, I do, o directamente, no, I y la contraparte. Pues se sugiere, no sé si que des una, se sugiere que des una, una respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Porque estas se llaman, las que están a este lado se llaman yes, no questions. O sea que son preguntas de sí o no. Solamente queremos saber si sí o no. Entonces, es bueno confirmar y decir yes, I do, ¿verdad? Yes, I do. Se da un punto ahí, se cierra la idea y se confirma. En este caso, do you get up early? No, I don't. No, I don't. Y luego de dar la respuesta corta, pues se sugiere dar una confirmación, ¿verdad? Si es positiva, yes, I do. I'm, I'm a morning person, ¿verdad? Soy una persona que se levanta temprano. O no, I don't. I like sleeping. <laughs> I like sleeping a lot. ¿Ok? Van a usar do you. Y un verbo de los que hemos visto. A ver, ¿quién tiene una pregunta? Do you have one a question? question? Go ahead. One question. Yes. Si quitáramos el do de la, de la pregunta y solo le escribiéramos you get up early, pierde el sentido la oración. Mire qué buena pregunta usted. Vaya, si yo digo, 
you get up early? Guys, si yo digo, you get up early, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Estoy affirming. Afirmando. Afirmando. Pasemos esa negativo, ¿cómo sería? You. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar negativo? You. Don't. Don't. don't get up, up early. Ok. Y ahora en pregunta. Are you get up early? You get up early? No, no, no. El verbo es get up. Aquí no vamos a usar el verbo to be, sino el auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar de los del simple present? Do. Do. Do or does, ¿verdad? En este caso, do. Do you get up early? Se ve el orden. Do you get up early? Y ahí pues me falta un question mark. Sorry, my cat is around. <laughs> question, question. Question mark. Okay. Ahí está. Vaya, vean, guys, ahí está. Afirmativo, you get up early. Negativo, you don't get up early. Pregunta, do you get up early? El do tiene que ir con letra mayúscula. ¿Quién tenía una pregunta? Yo, yo tengo una pregunta. Go, Nelson. Este, ¿Y se puede realizar uh, la pregunta de forma negativa? Por sí, ejemplo, se puede. En afirmativo sería, uh, por ejemplo, do you, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y se puede, se puede formular don't you. Se puede. Es en, solo que tendría que entender el contexto. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a usted, don't you, don't you have a car? Es como que, ¿se ¿sí me entiende? Como que no tenés carro todavía, como que lo estoy como casi encarando, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí, ahí va el contexto. ¿Quién más? Teacher, es como, es una contratación, ¿verdad? Es una contracción, correcto. Don't you, don't you have a car? Como que, ¿y qué le pasó, verdad? ¿Por qué no tiene carro? Es como que ya casi a manera de reclamo, siento yo, ¿verdad? Suena un poco rude. Casi no se usa, por eso. Uh -huh. Es más común do. Es, en ese caso tendría que verse como el contexto, ¿va? porque, por ejemplo, me dejó el bus y me puedo preguntar a alguien, no te levantaste temprano. Correcto, no ahí sí eso, cabe. Don't you, have a, don't you have an alarm clock? Don't you have an alarm on your cell phone? Yes. That's cuando aplica en el contexto. Muy bien, Edgardo. Nice job. Entonces sí se puede, siempre y cuando aplica en el contexto. ¿Alguien más o seguimos? Seguimos. Let's continue. Yo tengo preguntas, teacher. A ver, Elenita, vamos. Este, con respecto a lo que la compañera acaba de preguntar, ¿cuál es la diferencia, o mejor dicho? Sí, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre utilizar y no utilizar el verbo, el auxiliar, el do? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ajá. Es, depende de lo que usted va a expresar. Si usted va a expresar algo afirmativo, no lo va a usar. Si usted va a expresar algo negativo, ahí sí va a usar don't o doesn't. Y si usted va a preguntar, al principio va a usar el auxiliar do or does. Entonces, hay que tener conocimiento de verbos, ¿verdad? Aquí no es con el verbo to be, am, um, is, are, ya no, ¿verdad? Aquí son verbos de acción. Por ejemplo, get up es un verbo de acción. De hecho, ahorita les voy a compartir... Sí. Eh, los verbos para que ustedes puedan eh, practicar lo que son las su daily routine porque es lo que viene verdad para que ustedes puedan describir lo que es su rutina diaria your daily routine so ahí les acabo de compartir muchos verbos check it out check the chat check the chat please ok mm -hmm. check the chat yes eh. And one question. Yes. En el caso de take a shower, sería, do you take a shower? Correcto. Solo que te falta un, un uh, complemento cortito, como, do you take a shower every day? Yes. Uh, do you take a shower in the morning? Correct. Do you take a shower in the morning? Do you take a shower in the afternoon? Yes. Okay. Okay. Quiero que preparen... Una yes, no question, usando do. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar das? 
cuando, por ejemplo, yo esté hablando con Nelson, pero le voy a hacer la pregunta de alguien más. Por ejemplo, das Excuse me, Nelson, does Edgardo have a car? Entonces le estoy preguntando a Nelson de Edgardo. Ahí es cuando aplica el das. Cuando hablamos de he or she. Tercera persona. Third person. That is correct. Third person. Entonces, quiero que hagamos un yes, no question usando do. Pueden usar cualquiera de los verbos que les acabo de compartir, ¿ya? Take a shower, ok, ok. Se puede decir take a shower o se puede decir have a shower, ok. Let me see, let me see. Cook dinner, ok. Have dinner, ok. Do you have any question? Are we ready with your questions? Do you have a question for me? Just no question? Using do? Yes, no, maybe. Do you like your job? Do you like your job? That is correct. That's a good question. Thank you, Edgardo. Do we have another example of a question? Do you like wake up early? Do you like to wake up early? Do you like to wake up early? Te gusta levantarte temprano? That's an interesting question. That's a good one. Thank you. Bye. Así como los compañeros. Dígame. Sí, a decir una. Do you like sit parking? Do you like? Sit parking. ¿Me la puede escribir, Miss, en el chat? Me gusta esta pintura. Oh, painting. Painting. Así me dijo. Do you like this painting? Repeat. Do you like this painting? Correct. Do you like this painting? Así como los compañeros han hecho su preguntita con el do, necesito que ustedes me hagan preguntas con el do. Ok. Uh, preparen sus preguntas. Eh, tenemos también WH questions. Please. No, the difference. Si es yes, no question, comienza con do o comienza con does. ¿Ok? Si es, si es information question, va a comenzar con un wh word. Por ejemplo, what? For example, what is your name? Por ejemplo, what is your name? Ahí ya es información. Ahí no podemos decir yes, I do, ¿verdad? Yes. No, no, no cabe. <laughs> yes. Is correct. Uh, do you like a drink soda? Do you do you like do pronunciame cabal cada palabra tal cual? Do you like? See? ¿sí? Do you like do to you drink like to drink to soda? Drink soda. Toda hora. Do you like to drink soda? Good to uh, Repeat, please. Sí, es que ya es la hora de decirla completa, ¿verdad? Entonces, escribámosla. Yes. Do you like... Do you like... To drink, drink soda? Y le pones el signo de, de pregunta, el question mark. Ok, thank you. My pleasure. Ok. ¿Qué más? Vaya, entonces aquí nos han dado what time, que significa a qué horas. Y nos han dado when, que significa cuándo. Son similares, no es lo mismo. What time es what time, a qué horas. Y when es fecha, cuándo. Ok, so, después de ubicar what time o when, sigue lo que ya sabemos. Do or does, subject, and the verb. What time do you get up? Es diferente que yo te diga, do you get up early? A que yo te diga, what time do you get up? It's information. Lo que necesito acá es información. What time do you get up? Tenemos que distinguir qué pregunta nos están haciendo. Is it just no question or is information question? Okay. 
What time do you get up? Repeat, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Do you up? Repeat, what, what time? time does? What time does he have lunch? What time he has lunch? What time does, does, does he have lunch? What time does he has lunch? Have, have. En la pregunta es have porque estoy usando does, okay? Remember. What time does he have lunch? What time what does he have lunch? Y ahí lunch. solo nos dan la respuesta tal cual at one o'clock, pero en, en realidad deberíamos de decir Salud. la respuesta completa, ¿verdad? Salud. He has lunch. He has lunch at one o'clock. Así debería ser la respuesta completa. All right. He has lunch at one o'clock. <clears throat> Siempre dando la hora porque es what time. When? When do they drive to work? When do they drive to work? Every day. Completa sería they drive to work every day. They drive to work every day. ¿Ok? Bueno, entonces de tarea... Quiero que me hagan una pregunta con do y una pregunta con what time o when. Les voy a dar a escoger ahí, ya sea con what time o ya sea con when. ¿Ok? Una con wh y otra que es yes, no question. Necesito que las tengan listas para mañana. Solo son dos preguntas. Es just two questions, cortitas. No la respondan porque la vamos a usar mañana para platicar un ratito. Ok, you have okay. a question? You understand? Yes, I understand. Ok, good. Let me share my screen one more time. Equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we. That sounds very slow. He eats lunch at one o'clock. You recall the formula that I mentioned a minute. One second, please. One second, guys. I'm going to refresh. Está lloviendo acá. Yo creo que por eso está bien lento el inter. No, teacher. <laughs> eh, donde está el 0.50, debe de cambiarlo al 1. ¿El qué? En el video. Lo tenía la velocidad a la mitad de lo normal. Ah, ¿en serio? Sí. Oh, man, thank you. Let me see, quiero ver qué se me hizo. <laughs> Entonces yo lo había, yo le quizás modificado ahí. One second, please. Qué buena vista, estimado, me llega. Está activado. You activated. ¿A dónde? Aquí sería, ¿verdad? Sí, en el 1. Let me see. En el 1, que es la velocidad normal. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to find ah, regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the 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 screen. I walked to school. <laughs> Sorry and about that, guys. Thank you. To that verb. Let's take a look at that. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Vaya, entonces estas son afirmativas, right? Vean, la que está haciendo ahorita es affirmatives. For example, I walk to school. I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. John works. Cuando es de tercera persona, John, que es he, agregamos la S. John walks near here. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements 
and the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples. I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary Okay, so this is a video that we already um, watched. This is the knowledge check that you got to go through. Make sure you complete it. Make sure you complete it. And this is what we're going to study tomorrow, right? Uh, let me see. No, this is something we already saw. Okay, este también. Now let's check 1.7, 1.7. You have to complete that one your own. All right. Y las dos preguntitas que les pedía para mañana, guys. Una con do, otra con ya sea what time or when. Recuerden seguir la fórmula que después todo normal, ¿verdad? Do, subject y el verbo. And the verb. Okay, very well. Schedule. Vamos solo a introducir este, guys. Schedule. Repeat. Schedule. 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 Esta es una palabra un poquito difícil de pronunciar. Schedule means horario. Horario. Schedule. Repeat. Schedule. 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 Repeat, what's your schedule like? What's your your what's your schedule like? Repeat what's your schedule like. Yes, what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Perfect. ¿Cómo es tu horario? ¿Cómo es tu agenda, verdad? Esto es lo que vamos a ver el día de mañana, ¿ya? Yeah? ¿Se puede eh, contactar, verdad? No, eso no se puede contactar. Ok. It's not possible. Ok, guys. Thank you for the practice. Thank you for your time. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, bye. Night, night. See ya, see ya. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Bye bye, Kimberly. It's not hot today, Kimberly. It's raining. Bye. See you tomorrow. Raining yeah. here. Está lloviendo. Poquito. <laughs> Good night, Rainy. everyone. See you tomorrow. Teacher, yo entré Good un night. poquito tarde en la clase, pero he estado en toda la clase. Solo entré unos minutitos, minutitos tarde. Oh, es cierto, es cierto. Tenía que pasar la lista, ¿verdad? Oh my God, ya estoy emocionado yo. Yes, yes, yes. Abner, Itiel, Cano, Silvestre. No, ¿verdad? Ana, Gabriela Correas Martínez. Present. Thank you. Azucena Veraliz, Bela Muñoz. Luego, Elena Gabriela Jovel Valle. Missing in Action. Helen Idalia Ramos Escalante. Y quiero ver, tenemos a Joana Abigail Flores Díaz. Uh, 
of Sam. Uh, ah, la compañera que me dijiste. Ok. Sí, correcto. Katie Abigail Montano Rivas. Y... Rosa Mary Beatriz Familia Someta. I'm here, teacher. All right, you got it. Okay, Verónica Lisette Marroquín de Santos. I am here, teacher. All right, and Vilma Heidi Cortez Beltrán. Okay, chicos, están libres. Here I am, teacher. Ay, estás, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, ahorita le pongo. Están libres, chicos. Good night. Good night, 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 everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye.